Um, I like their attitude the best, I think. Uh, they went up there with an attitude that they expected to win. I think that's a big st uh, step in the progression of this whole thing. Because those guys expecting to win a game like that. Um, the effort was unbelievable on both sides. I thought our guys played hard. I thought they knew their assignments. Um, we're doing some good things on both sides of the ball and special teams. Uh, it was a team win. Everybody was excited, but uh, like I said, I think they feel like they expected to win that game and like they still have more to prove. Well, we got two more games to watch, so there will be some changes in the game plan, but I think the majority of what we had prepared for them uh, we'll go ahead and go with. Our kids are already familiar with a lot of that stuff. Uh, kind of helps us prepare this week and hopefully be even uh, better on assignments. So we'll, we'll start in, uh, using that game plan this week, see what we want to keep, what we want to take out, and see which new things we want to add. Yeah, uh, they responded. You know, I, I don't know if we were ready to, to hold on to a win against a good team last year. This year, uh, we were in the same situation at halftime. We were in a couple times last year where we didn't finish it. Uh, guys came out after halftime and got a stop and got a score. Uh, that really gave us the separation we needed in the football game. Um, I think we have more depth this year, which is going to help us be a better third and fourth quarter team. Uh, but we also have a better mindset. Um, and I think that showed up on Saturday. Uh, the guys were ready to go back out and, out and try to outplay a team again in the second half. Yeah, if you look at last year's Maryland game versus this year's Maryland game, it was a completely different guy at quarterback. Uh, we were sloppy with the ball. Uh, ball was bouncing all over the place a year ago against Maryland, and that was at home. So being able to go on the road against a really good defense and, and do what he did. Uh, you know, his numbers weren't huge, but he made plays when we needed to make plays. Uh, there were some big throws to get drive started, uh, some big throws that got us down in the red zone, and a couple key runs and decisions uh, to hand the ball off on third down that helped us keep drives alive. Um, Quarterbacks in this offense can be playmakers, but more than anything, they just need to make quick, decisive decisions and make the right decision. I thought he did a good job of that. Well, we live in a country where everybody's free to have their own opinion, and everybody's uh, free to voice that opinion any way that they want to. Um, I cherish that about this country. I've traveled a lot of places in this world, and, and I don't think there's a better country in the world. It's not a perfect country. There's a lot of things we can still fix. I think people are trying to use their voice to try to get some things that they don't like fixed. Um, that, that's about all I want to say. If I thought my opinion on the matter would make any difference, I'd have a stronger opinion. Um, but, uh, you know, those things are going to happen. There's going to be social change in, in the country, and, and people have the right to, to do what they believe. So I'm um, kind of glad in college we stay in the, in the locker room uh, before, before the game. Uh, I think it helps us not be distracted. Well, I'm ready to see the place packed. Um, I think our team has done enough to, to earn a full stadium and a, and a sold out stadium. Um, it's going to be a great game. I, I think this is going to be one of the marquee games of this conference year. Uh, Memphis is a really good team, have a really good win under their belt. I think we're getting better every week, and we have a really good win under our belt. So this should be a great football game. They've got a lot of great football players. Uh, we got some really good football players. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Our kids are looking forward to it, and I hope we have a, a packed house. Well, I think their quarterback, Ferguson, one, he's one of the best players in the country, uh, let alone this conference. I think they got a lot of weapons on offense uh, with some running backs that can really make big plays, uh, a couple big play receivers. they got a returner that's one of the best in the country. I've uh, really seen some improvement on their defense uh, from what I've watched before in these last two games. Um, I think they're flying around better. Uh, they really looked good against UCLA with the way they ran to the ball. Um, they were sound and doing some good things. I think they're a well-coached team. I think they have a bunch of talent. Uh, and I think they're uh, a threat to, to compete for the conference championship. So it's a great opportunity for us. You know, I, I don't think our players are buying into people talking about us being good yet. Um, and we're certainly not going to let them do that. Uh, one of the dangers of winning a, a big game is is simply probably spending so much emotion on that game that you don't have a lot left in the tank. And, and that's one of the things I appreciated on Saturday. Uh, we spent our time enjoying it in the locker room. It was certainly a pleasant flight home from up there. Um, but our guys didn't act like they won the Super Bowl. I think they went up there with the mindset that they expected to win it. When you win one, you're expect, you, you expect to win. Uh, you don't spend as much energy and emotion on it. Um, our guys showed up ready to go to work again today. So. Uh, 
I, I said before that game that was one of several opportunities we were going to have this year to beat a, a really good team. Uh, our players understand that the next opportunity comes this week. Um, so uh, I, I don't want our guys reading papers and, and looking at the internet or anybody that's patting them on the back right now. And I don't think we have a bunch of guys that are going to pat themselves on the back. I, I think they're hungry to accomplish more. And this next week is another uh, great opportunity for us to take another step.